Hi friends, today we will be seeing how to use expression trunk. So this is the syntax for expression trunk. Okay, so let's get started. This is my database which I would be retrieving from my entity. So this has a users table. The user table consists of first name, last name and salary. So let us go and create an entity class, add new item, go to data, radio.net entity data model. Let's give it a name of user model. Select entity framework designer from database, click next. I already have my connection string ready. I will save this in my app config as user entity go to next so in my tables let me select users give this a name of user model finish okay so now my user model is ready let me go into my user model dot context dot cs so user entity this is my db context let me copy this go into my program or let me create a repository going to add new class let's give it a name of user repository repository enter let me retrieve the user list of user from get users from db and the parameter what i would be giving here would be an expression func so expression Funk user would be my input to this expression and output of what I am expecting is a boolean so let's give it a name of user expression close it we are expecting is list of users and this is user is equal to so my db context was user entities so from the user entities i am okay i need to initialize it user entity or let me give it a name of Text is equal to new db new user entity so db context dot users dot where in this where clause I would be passing my user expression dot select and I would be selecting the user view and then converting it to list because that is what we are expecting and then return users okay so let me explain you what I have done over here so this is by method which would be retrieving the user from the database and the where clause would be dynamically generated or it would be passed from my main application or whosoever is calling this get user from db method so this is what the expression the user would be providing and which is i am passing in my where clause 
and then I am selecting the user converting into to list and returning back from my method so let us give it a static so we don't need to initialize it in our main class okay so now let us go into our main method and call our user repository user repository oh we don't need to initialize it since it's static so get db okay so this is expecting a expression let us go and create that expression func user comma boolean so what expression we would like to send to our repository method is uh, let us give it an expression of you you such that Okay, so how does this you come to know what are the properties inside it first name last name salary this is because we have already specified this user and the compiler knows that it needs to refer this user so that's why we have this intelligence so let us search for where first name dot starts with first name starts with J because there are two users okay and then pass this expression to our method so what we are expecting from this method is list of user which is users okay so now that we have retrieved it let us go and iterate over the users where user in users let us do a console dot write line user dot first name plus user dot last name and user dot salary okay let me go and run this and so i am selecting the where the first name starts with j so i am expecting jamie and jesse okay let us go and run this application okay so what we are going oh, we let us go and console dot read line so that we can see what is the output okay so what we are retrieving is users whose first name starts with J okay so now see how easy it is to change the expression so whatever query you want to run against this user is a list you can do that starting with R see that the first name starts with R okay now let's just go and add something like you dot salary is greater than 3000 let us check what it gives us see First, it is giving all the users starting with R. Also, it is giving all the users whose salary is above 3000. So, this is how you can dynamically change your queries. And one more thing, one point to note over here is it is not that uh, I am going into this method and it is pulling out all the users from the database and then working on this expression so like uh, what it is doing is it is forming the query 
with this user expression and then it is going and hitting the database okay so i have uh, the sql profiler running over here so this would give us what queries we are hitting so let us go and run our application one again once again okay so now let us go into our trace and see see this this is what is actually going into the database and pulling out the data so we do not need to worry that uh, it would bring all the users and then work on it so friend this was a simple application or a console app where i just pass the expression and this is a ready made delegate which microsoft provides so you can use this and you can create your dynamic queries or uh, instead of users you can use your entity and pass in over here you can use generics like t over here and t then t so see you can use generics to pass your class over here whenever you are calling user repository you just go uh, need to go into this and specify user see so that you can pass this user into this repository the expression would change a bit this you can configure as per your need but this is how expression func works thanks for watching friends do like share my videos thank you